Hello and welcome to the final episode of Halftime at the Footy. Tonight we're here at Crown to find out who will be crowned the 2013 Sandover medalist. We'll bring you the count and of course you'll hear from the winner. But before all that, we'll check out the glitz and the glamour and all the action from the red carpet. The Waffles Night of Night, and once again it didn't disappoint. Dozens of current stars arrived to enjoy the night and to support their teammates, the handful of players dubbed as favourites to take home tonight's medal. Paul Johnson's name is predicted by many to enter the history books tonight. His teammate Brendan Lee could also be rewarded for a standout year. Another favourite who normally polls well on sand overnight is East Fremantle's Rory O'Brien. All with 17 Claremont wins secure Jake Murphy tonight's medal. Of course, the night isn't just about the current crop. Medalists from years gone by are celebrated during the night's traditional parade of champions. For me, one of the, the most amazing aspects of winning a medal is being able to rub shoulders with the likes of Barry Cable and Stephen Michael and the legends of our game. It's, you know, I love it every time I get to get back in the rooms with those guys and Ian Miller and the likes, it's just a wonderful time. It's a, probably an, an award you appreciate more in after the event, like when you've retired. At the time, you're so focused on uh, team goals uh, and team success. And I guess picking up these, you know, uh, you appreciate it more as you get older, sort of thing. So um, I'm very thankful to have you know, won one. So the umpires maybe got it right or wrong, who knows? But, they, they, um, but uh, it's an honour to be a Sandover medalist. Well, there was no television in back in those days. It was. Uh, I uh, found out I'd won the Sandov medal uh, listening to the news on uh, the ABC, 9 o'clock news. And uh, I think I was given my Sandover medal on grand final day. I went walked onto the Oval and they presented it to me then. So it's all changed uh, compared to now. It's more glamorous and, and rightly so. The distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Commission, I'd like to add my welcome to you being here this evening. The award started with West Perth's Frank Stockley taking home the Prendergast medal as the best player in the Waffle Reserves. East Perth spearhead Josh Smith was presented with his first Bernie Naylor medal for kicking 62 goals in the home and away season, while Claremont's Mark Webb took home the Coach of the Year award. He takes home the JJ Leonard medal. East Fremantle, R. O'Brien, two votes. As the Sandover count commenced, Rory O'Brien found himself the centre of attention. R. Uh, O'Brien, five votes. But East Fremantle's Rory O'Brien holds that lead on 19. Yeah, it's a bit of a shock. Um, yeah, didn't think I'd be sitting in that position at this time. I think the first half of my season probably my worst, but yeah, pretty surprised. A strong finish to the season meant many had tipped O'Brien to storm home and poll strongly in the second half of the year. And that's exactly what he did. By round 21, the gun midfielder had opened up a 12-point buffer over East Perth big man Paul Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, I declare the 2013 Sandover medalist with 55 votes, Rory O'Brien from the East Fremantle Football Club. I would like to congratulate Rory on his fantastic win. I'd do like to thank the Sandover family for um, this prestigious award and I'm honoured to win it tonight. I obviously shocked, um, honoured to be a part of this great club. Um, yeah, I can't believe it. Words can't describe how happy I am right now. I said at the start, I was, I was very shocked. Um, obviously, leading at halfway, I, I couldn't believe it. Um, and to get the amount of votes I did was a, a big shock, considering the guys we had in our side, McGough, Kerr and Dalziel, but yeah, absolutely stoked. I, I can't really explain it. It's so exciting uh, to be a part of this prestigious award. Um, yeah, I think we'll seek in the next few years. O'Brien had a very special thank you for coach and now fellow Sandover medalist Steve Malaxis. He's, he's, he's been um, critiquing my game um, in the way that obviously working on my decision making, kicking, really fine tuning things, um, things that some coaches haven't done before um, and things that I don't really know I'm doing but he's finding and watching vision that closely that he's noticing. Uh, you hear the word a lot of professional but he really is, trains hard, he lives in Mandurah still, 
drives up, drives home, uh, training nights. Uh, I guess the only thing I've tried to do is to see areas where he can improve and point that, them out to him. And he's been uh, diligent enough and good and good enough to uh, to work on those. So really, that's all I've done. The 27-year-old finished 12 votes clear of Paul Johnson, with Claremont's Jake Murphy rounding out the top three. I've been lucky enough in the last few years to get a few few votes, but um, to get the amount of votes I did tonight was an absolute shock. But I think it's probably the last three years worth that I've got. I've got it all in one night. It's absolutely um, amazing. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Rory O'Brien, the 2013 Sandover medalist.